On today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best portfolio website that I've seen in a long time. And what's weird about it, that it's a portfolio website without any design work. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another week of Designer Mind. I want to do a portfolio review today of one of my students in the Webflow Masterclass, which created an incredible personal website for his design services, which uh, it takes a lot of what I'm talking about here over and over again in this video and executed it very, very well. And I think you can learn a lot from it. So the point here, what I want to demonstrate to you is how this person, which is called Sumit Hedge, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, Sumit. Anyway, he, before he even went out to create his website, he picked out a niche, which is one of the most important things that I repeat again and again, when you're trying to think about how you're going to get clients, you need to be very, very focused about who you're trying to impress, who are you trying to sell to. And Sumit was very, very clear about the type of customers that he want to help with while as a web designer, and he picked SaaS companies. So SaaS, if you don't know, it's software as a service. So it's basically software companies that have an online product and he wants to design their websites. Let's check out his website. So basically, let me just reload it so we can see those nice fancy interactions and animation here, but check out the headline. Your SaaS website is stopping you from doubling your MRR, which is in the SaaS world, uh, monthly recurring revenue. So just reading this, which already talks to you in the language of SaaS, shows that they, they know he understands the customer, he understands their language, he understands their concern because their concern is always to grow their MRR, their monthly recurring revenue. I can help you change that. I help SaaS businesses convert visitors into customers through powerful positioning and crystal clear messaging. And so this is, his offering is very, very clear, unique value proposition right up front. And big call to action, book a free clarity call right now, um, or learn how to do that. So it doesn't look like most designer website. It actually looks like most either SaaS website or just product where they're giving you clear value proposition, clear call to action, telling me what you're going to get here. And obviously it looks very nice. So even without seeing his graphic design work, I can see just from having this graph here and those little interaction. And as you can see, it's really, it's kind of relating to my mouse. I know already that he has the design chops, right? This website is well designed enough that I know that he has the skills and he's already selling to me. So let's scroll down and check the rest of the website. So trusted by high growth companies. Um, again, mentioning high growth, which is what every startup SaaS company wants, showing that he works with multiple companies. From them, I only know personally tech starts, but I know they are a great company. Um, does your website suck at acquiring customers? Yes, this is the copywriting here I feel is very, very good because he's talking about the problem. And the problem is as he scrolls down, um, and he's talking about the fact that you're just putting up a website, but without a clear strategy, it's not a strategic website. It doesn't help you convert and sell more. So he's focused again and again from changing the conversation between I'm just a web designer that's going to do your, you know, your web into their strategic goal of generating sales and growing and only talking about that and how working with him and building a website with him is going to help them achieve that goal. Um, so here you're trying to do a lot of things, but you aren't getting the results you want. So you're rebranding, you're hiring a designer to build the website, you're A-B testing. So he knows them so much. And again, this is beautiful and very nice design, but also more importantly, he's really down into understanding their problem and pain point. And then he's telling them because what you really need is a high performance, not a website, a sales machine. Again, he's repositioning what he's doing. So note that even though the website is great, looking great, love the interaction, it's basically a sales page. The copy here, it really sells the problem, you know, and, and the value of what he's doing. Um, so now he gets to talk about himself. I build website that convert visitors using two research driven methodologies, positioning to eliminate competition and crystal clear messaging. 
and then again, call to action. So I think this is, again, this is a wonderful, wonderful, and we're not going to go deep into um, all the copy, but you can see that he went really deep into exploring their problem and how he is going to help them solve this. Um, the call to action repeat themselves many times and then at the end. Um, okay, so here's the another um, amazing thing that he did there. So he has this learn my process and basically he created a free email course for his potential clients. So even if they're not ready to buy yet, he wants to get their email address so he can follow up with them, build rapport and expertise, demonstrate his capable. Um, and then later on, when they decide they do need a new website, they're, they're going to have him in mind. So um, this is how he basically talks about his process by creating some kind of an email course for them. Um, basically, I think it's pretty similar, but at the end of the day here, he's trying to um, get them to sign up for this email course, which I think is so amazing. Not enough designers are using email marketing um, to keep in touch with their clients. It's either you buy now because you need a website right now or just forget about it. Um, there's no way to collect and build a list and build kind of report, report with them, which I think is very, very important. So at the end of the day, look, he didn't put any example work. He did put logos of clients, but he didn't put any actual website besides the website this website itself is for me the biggest project that demonstrate his work so even if he never actually did a client work seeing this work understanding he knows how to convert how to write copy how to design it how to create interactions how to create illustrations so this website itself proves that he's got the skills he's got the chops um, and I, I love this. I think this is very, very impressive. I don't see many designers using those tactics, really understanding their customers, their pain points, learning how to write, write good copy that sells yourself as a web designer on their website. I think this is really, really incredible work. Congrats to me. I hope it really helps you land um, a lot of great SaaS clients. This website already, by the way, has been featured by uh, multiple kind of like, I think, website inspiration, obviously built with Webflow. Um, so really, really, really nice work here. Um, I hope you can take away from this some ideas to implement in your own website. And if you don't have a website yet, obviously put up your website as soon as possible. And I'll see you on the next video.